I think I, I think I always known I was funny of uh, my behavior and the way I react to things. Uh, not so much as a um, improvisational funny stand-up comic actor. You know that sort of those are two different kinds of funnies. Yeah. And I, I think I've always been able to make characters funny by my behavior. But but um, this was a challenge doing Spy, and and that there was a lot of Im, Im, improvisational work going on. And Melissa McCarthy is is there's nobody better than she at, at improv. Um, and it was extraordinary watching her, and and yet I, I think it was the role I played. I maybe mean, maybe if I'd played, to play the head of the CIA was very hard to improv in that capacity. I, I don't know, I don't know how to. I don't know that world well enough, and um, to know what the head of the CIA would say to someone like Melissa McCarthy's character, <laughs> absolutely bizarre. Um, uh, but so it was a real lesson, and just learning to be okay with just sitting still and looking, you know being the straight man. Oh my God. Yeah, it's so, it just makes, it makes it so sad. And I, I, I hate that that is the truth. But who just said, somebody just said recently that they found out, oh yeah, Maggie, Maggie Gyllenhaal found out yeah. that she was, found out that they were, she was too old to play whose lover? Well, we don't know the name, but a 55-year-old 55 55 year old man. It's just absurd. It makes me, it makes me beyond upset. Mm -hmm. It really, really does that, that women are so... That you think that there's an expiration date on them as women, as, as sexual beings, which is what I love, you know, playing mom on um, CBS, my sitcom. I'm playing a, a freaking great-grandmother who is having sex and very sexy and dresses... You know, it's just nice to put a... Uh, it's it's insulting that um, that um, women lose their sexuality at a, over a certain age in Hollywood. It's very very upsetting. Well, I certainly think it grounded me when you know I did have when success came with the West Wing, and I knew uh, you know didn't change who I was as a, as a person, or I didn't believe uh, I've never been one to read reviews or. Um, believe hype about anything, so I don't really, um, yeah, it didn't change me in a, in a bad way. I felt all of my cast members in West Wing, we, we'd all come from the theater and, and, and put a lot of years in, paid our dues, and this came, and it was like, we were like, hey, this is nice, but this is not what life is. We're, we're, we, we know what, what, um, we know what it is, what, it, what it's about, and, um, what it's not about and what to believe and what not to believe. You know, there are a lot of people who get surrounded by people who, you know, encourage them to believe their own hype and they're, that they think they're more special than someone else because they're, I don't know, it's a crazy, crazy business. It's hard for young people who get success early to maintain um, their, um, their, their grounding. Well, I, I really think... Um, Melissa McCarthy is the funniest woman I know. She really is. I've known her for a long time before this movie as a friend. I've watched her at Groundlings, this you know improv uh, troupe in L.A. Um, that started a lot where Kristen Wiig came out of, and um, you know uh, a lot of great female comics. And um, she is truly uh, the funniest woman I I know. I mean, from the moment I met her when she was just an actress, struggling actress in L.A. She made me laugh all the time. I just was just couldn't understand how anyone's brain could be that could work that fast and make me just come up with such clever things all the time and brilliant.